and I said to people at home, go and get your broken watches and spoons. And I didn't realize that I sent 37 million people to the kitchen <laughs> to get spoons. And the BBC's telephone system blew up because so many people were calling in in a panic that the spoons were bending and watches ca came alive. And that really catapulted me into a household name worldwide because the next morning there were headlines all over the world. Uri Geller puts England in a bend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, um, what do you say to people who don't believe in your powers? Well, you know, the, the I, I tell them to fuck off. <laughs> now, you once did some work for the FBI, I understand. What, what, what did you do there? Well, you see, I was brought to the United States in 1972 by the CIA. Um, they wanted to test my powers. And uh, then the FBI used me f for finding serial killers. Uh, do you remember the son of Sam? A guy yeah. called David Berkovich, who was really, yeah. a, he killed many, many people. I, I sat with maps with the FBI, and I sort of doused, because they couldn't find him. And I just pinpointed a place in the Bronx, and that house, exactly where my finger fell onto, they arrested him. That's where he was? Yeah. And then for the CIA, I did espionage work. Um, they would tell me to, uh, every month, KGB agents, two KGB agents would f fly out of Mexico with diplomatic pouches attached, you know, to their wrists with handcuffs yeah. Yeah. because there was secret information in the diplomatic pouch. Some of the information was on floppy disks, and my task was, we were in first class in Aeromexico, and I sat next to them, and my task was to bombard that diplomatic pouch and erase the, the floppy disks. And it worked, so they, I, they kept asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you're also very friendly with Michael Jackson, and yeah. you actually persuaded him to do that documentary with Martin Bashir. Do you think that was a good thing now? No, or? no I, I, I regret it very, very much, because Martin Bashir betrayed me and betrayed Michael Jackson. Yeah. I can tell you right now here on, on television that um, when Martin called me, you see, I invited Michael Jackson eight months ago to, to England yeah. in order to uh, present him. He became an honorary director of our football club, Exeter City. And um, I also took him to the parliament. And then Martin Bashir called me that day and he said, Oh, Uri, you've got to get me together with Michael. I really want to do a positive documentary. Yeah. And I invited Martin Bashir to my home. Martin sat in my living room and said, Uri, this is going to be a positive and a constructive documentary. I'm going to bring justice into the, this, this man's life. He said that I'm going to take him to the United Nations, that we're filming with Kofi Annan, we're flying to Africa. And I fell for it. You know, I've been in this business for a long time, yeah. but I, my problem is I trust people. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen or spoken to Michael since the documentary? I don't want to talk about that, but I can tell you this, that Michael is shattered. Yeah. He feels so betrayed because, you see, he invited Bashir into his life. Do you understand? But that's not the so, Michael you know that we've seen in that documentary, definitely. No, no, no. Michael is really down to earth. I, I really know him well. You know, he was my best man when I renewed my wedding vows. Um, you know, we go to movies. Uh, he's a lonely man, by the way. Yeah. He's the most famous individual in the world, but he's very lonely. Yeah. And he's very honest, and I don't believe those allegations. Otherwise, I would not associate myself with him. I'm a father. I have two kids, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I really, truly believe that the media are trying to demolish him. Yeah, it's a shame, really. But anyway, we'll move on to something else. We're going to move on to, um, earlier on, you and myself went upstairs and I drew something. So um, if I get your piece of paper. Okay. Now, look, first of all, to all of you here and to everyone at home, this is not a collaboration. This is not a trick. You, you drew something yes, I have I not seen. You have not told it to anyone. I will now try to pluck it out of your brain and draw it here. All I want you to do, Stuart, is visualize the drawing. Yes? Yeah? Just don't take your eyes. And the camera can see this. You know, I, I, I'm getting something. It looks like something really rude, but um, I'll just finish <laughs> what I'm getting here. Keep, keep visualizing it. I knew you'd have to draw something like this, but keep, keep, keep visualizing it. I hope they'll allow this to be on air, but, um, oh, no, 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 okay, 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 I know what it is now. It's actually not something rude at all. I've done thousands of drawings, pro thousands. I cannot remember anyone ever drawing this. Um, it's really bizarre, and I hope I'm not wrong. Don't look at it yet. 
uh, let me show you to the camera. This is what I got. And uh, you understand why I thought it was rude in the beginning. Okay, now you show us your drawing. Right. Uh, this is so unusual. Is right now, right? Usually, wait, yes. usually people draw a tree or a right. house or a flower. If, he, if he's right, I'd shit my pants, right? <laughs> That's what I do, will you? Yes! Yes! That is absolutely Wait, serious. wait, wait. Now watch this. Okay. Now. Sir. Okay, now watch this. I hope the camera can come close up. Watch this. You drew this. Your hand drew yes, this, right? Yes, I did. I did. My hand drew this. Yes. Now watch this. You're drawing from here to here. See the, yeah, the size? Yeah, yeah. Watch this now. And my drawing from here to here. Okay, now watch. <laughs> it's the same size. <laughs> Look, hey, unbelievable. Right. That is, um... I was, uh... I was, I was making a bit of a beef broth the other day, okay. and I got this big, big chunk of beef, and I bent that. <laughs> Could you bend it back to me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Yuri Geller! 